Hey Salam, I hope you guys do well. Halal Chef is back for another video and this time I'm making barbecue chicken. I promise you this is one of the best barbecue chicken that you're gonna try. I'm gonna serve this barbecue chicken with rice and a really nice sauce that's gonna be flavored with garlic and chili. Trust me, you're gonna enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, you want to brine the chicken or you could skip this part, but it just adds more flavor. It was a chipotle paste, some of this tomato paste, it was a tamarind, apple cider vinegar. If you don't have that, then use apple juice. Now with the pickle juice, it with the water, and a good touch of salt in there. Now give this a really good mix. And now place your chicken in there. You could use legs or a whole chicken. You could use the chicken with or without skin. It's really up to you. If I were to use the skin, I would actually dry brine or cure the meat actually. You know, this would give a nice crispy skin. Make sure everything is completely submerged in the brine. It's gonna have a lot of flavor. Trust me, this is one of the best barbecue chicken that you're gonna try. And now you want to let the chicken brine for at least three to four hours in the fridge. Now for our seasoning, it with the red chili, garlic and onion powder, it with the mustard powder for more flavor, paprika, celery powder. I like a bit of this Cajun seasoning ground black pepper, brown sugar and finally some salt. Now give that a really good mix and combine everything properly. Set aside for later use. Our flour barbecue sauce, turn up the heat around medium low. Here with the molasses sugar, some of this brown sugar. Here with the ketchup, use a good quality one. You want to slowly mix and combine the two. Now molasses is what is responsible for the dark brownish color of the barbecue sauce. Now we're gonna flavor with some yellow mustard, a mild type of vinegar and it doesn't have to be too strong. Here with the Worcester sauce, here with a soy sauce for the umami flavor. Now we're gonna season it with garlic and onion powder, paprika, freshly ground black pepper, and finally a pinch of the sea salt. Now you want to give this a really good mix and bring everything together. And we're gonna let the sauce simmer for a few minutes. This will ensure any rawness of the spices is cooked and you can always adjust the consistency. All right, so the sauce is ready, just turn off the heat. Have a taste. Mmm, amazing. Our for our barbecue glaze, turn up the heater on low. It with the knobs of butter. It with our fresh barbecue sauce. It with the chili sauce. Light soy sauce for some more flavor. For a light bit of cake, I'm using hot sauce. It with the pickle juice, you could also use apple cider vinegar. A good touch of this honey, and finally mix in some of the seasoning. Trust me, this is one of the best barbecue chicken that you're gonna try. I'm gonna let this cook on low heat for around five to seven minutes until it has a thick consistency, but make sure it's not too thick. Something like this you're looking for. Perfect. Once the chicken has been brined, you want to remove it from the mixture and then completely dry off using a kitchen paper. I'm gonna place your chicken on this board and now we're gonna season it. Season it generously from both sides. And make sure to tap that seasoning. If you notice, I'm sprinkling the seasoning from the top just to ensure it cover all parts of the chicken. All right, the chicken has been beautifully seasoned, now let's cook it. As we know, energy costs are skyrocketing every day. For as you can save up to 55% on your energy bills compared to convection ovens. I want to talk about High Sapientia's air fry oven, who have kindly sponsored this video. This air fryer is a bit different. It's combined with both the normal oven and air fryer function. It has upper and lower heating elements and a high speed thermal technology, which doesn't require preheating. The sensors offer for more precise temperature control, making food evenly browned, and it creates a crispy exterior while keeping the inside juicy. It offers multifunctions such as air frying, baking, grilling, dehydrating and defrosting. And my favorite feature is the built-in rotisserie. Can you just imagine having a chicken shawarma or a full rotisserie chicken? Wow. The oven has a beautiful stainless steel exterior, double insulated glass, and it comes with an LED display, which is simple and convenient to operate. With a large capacity of 25 liters, you can cook for your whole family at one time, and its compact design is suitable for a small kitchen, thus saving your space. Also with this air fryer, you get accessories such as oven gloves, air fryer basket, oven tray and so on. Overall, I love the compact and modern design of this air fryer oven. The large capacity of 25 liters is definitely game changing and the good thing is it doesn't require preheating. This is the only oven you will ever need for all of your meals, especially if you're a family of four or five, you can definitely benefit from this. So if you're looking for a healthy frying option and want to save money on your energy bills, then check out the High Sapientia air fryer oven. I will leave the links down below. Thank you High Sapientia for sponsoring this video. Or now let's get back to cooking. I'm gonna place your chicken on the baking tray. Spray with a light touch of oil. I'm 
On a Zuko covered chicken, we could just use one of the preset options here. So I'm just gonna toggle that to chicken, which is right here. 230 Celsius. Let's increase the timing a bit. So you can do that by just clicking on this button. Just gonna do for 25 minutes and then we're gonna check it, you know. You could also adjust the temperature by clicking here. And I'm gonna click on this button to start. Bismillah. We're looking for an internal temperature for around 75 Celsius, which is around 165 Fahrenheit. For the rice, very simple. I'm just gonna cook them in some chicken stock along with some bay leaves, some thyme. Make sure to wash and soak your rice in water for at least 30 minutes. And when there is some water left, I'm just gonna steam them up for around 13 to 15 minutes. Let's check this, bismillah. So the rice look great, perfectly cooked. For the sauce, we're gonna start with fresh red chilies, garlic cloves, and with the spring onions, and with the red chili flakes for some heat. Nice thick pieces of lemon zest. And then with some of this orange zest as well to add the citrus flavor. Now squeeze in the fresh lemon juice. And squeeze in some of the fresh orange juice along with some pulp. And with some of this tomato puree, some of the barbecue glaze in there, fresh coriander, and a good pinch of salt in there. And finally with some water. And now you want to cover and blend this until nice and smooth. All right guys, let's check this. Our mouth watering sauce, done. I'm just gonna have a little taste. Mm, nice garlic citrus flavor, well balanced along with that glaze, has a bit of kick to it, amazing. All right, so the chicken is done, let's check it. Smell like, looks so beautiful. This is one of the best looking chicken I've ever seen. And now we're gonna glaze that chicken. So you wanna add your glaze into a bowl. Grab your chicken, and this goes into that glaze. Just make sure to cover it properly. Beautiful. Let the excess drip and remove onto this oven grill. Slowly, beautiful. And do the same with the rest of your chicken. Oh man, that chicken looks amazing, so delicious. Trust me, you haven't tried a barbecue chicken like this before. Panic. Now you could also use a barbecue grill to cook this chicken. Alright guys, let's play this over with your chicken. Bismillah. Just a light touch of seasoning on the chicken. Of our amazing rice with some of the scallions. And finally of our mouth watering sauce. Now if you want, you could also serve it with some of the wraps. Of amazing barbecue chicken with rice and sauce. Done. Alright guys, let's try this. It looks amazing. Add some of the sauce on the rice. Muchas gracias. Bismillah. Wow, I have to take another bite. That is so delicious. Just the rice and the sauce along with the scallion sauce. So. Alright, let's try with chicken. Look at that. That's a beautiful looking chicken. Bismillah. Mmm, wow. that is so delicious. The amazing flavor of barbecue is so good. Let's try our menu wrap. Bismillah. Mmm, the chicken is so tender and juicy and along with the sauce is so good. One of the best tasting barbecue chicken that you're gonna try. A really nice flavor from the brine and the barbecue glaze was amazing. Trust me, you're really gonna enjoy it. Can we please get this video to 5,000 likes? I would really appreciate it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, see you next time. Until then, salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad. Make for your family. Enjoy.